Okay, so I am wanting to make uh, one of the grid things. It's a, it's a little plastic or a little card that has elastic bands on it. So what I've done is I bought a bunch of these elastic bands and I'm gonna try to make it. So I've never done this before. Um, I'm not the most skilled or experienced when it comes to these little DIY things like this. So but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show this. Okay, so here are the supplies that I bought or picked up. So I got several of these elastic things from Walmart. They were cheap. An X-Acto knife, um, already had the mat, uh, some stuff for cutting. And then to make the card, I have an old uh, three ring binder because it's got cardboard inside of it because I didn't necessarily have a book that I could butcher. Um, so I'm gonna try that and see how that goes. And I suppose I need to do is get this apart. Um, not really sure what I'm wanting to do here, so uh, let me pause the video for a second. Okay, got out this exacto knife, so I'll separate one cover from the rest of it and see, go from there. Alright, that wasn't so bad. And uh, I suppose I'll take take the plastic off. Let's see what's underneath there. Yep, just like I was hoping, just plain old cardboard. That's what I'm going for. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that would work like sheetrock, and it does. So now I can just cut at it from the back. This way I don't have to slice all the way through the darn thing. At least not. At least I can let the splitting do some of it for me. There we go. Now we're getting through. Perfect. I like it. So the card is done. Now the only thing I'm concerned about is... On other videos, I saw that you know the color of the card kind of shows through. So part of me is thinking I should color this. Um, but at the same time, I'm thinking if I like it, maybe I'll make another one. I can give this one away to somebody else. So I'm going to press on without coloring it. I'm not going to round any edges or anything. I'm just going to go on like this because this is part of this is going to be a learning experience for me. So these bands were pretty cheap. Um, I picked these up for dollar uh, forty seven. Um, which isn't bad. Uh, I think one of these ended up getting, yeah, I got a three quarter inch one and that one was only 97 cents and that's for one, one meter. So we'll see if these work well, now. From what I've seen, I've watched a few videos on others, see how they did it, but I need to wrap that around. Let's move my light so I can get a little better light. So let's wrap that around there. Then I should cut it. Okay. And again, on the video I saw, I wanted just a little short, so let's take just a smidgen more off. I want a bit, just a little bit of a gap and close it together. It should just be able to staple this together. So let's see how easy this is. One staple, two, three, four. That seems like enough. It's pretty strong. It holds, looks pretty Looks all right there. So, well, and then slide it on like so. So now I just repeat that all the way down and then we'll work on the other side.
Okay, what I did rather than having to wrap this thing around that darn card every time, I figured out exactly how long I need to make it to using the grids. And thankfully, it actually lines up exactly on one of these marks. So now I can just lay it out kind of like that. doing the bands and I realized at the end I could end up with a bunch extra. Now thankfully this is actually going to work out perfect. Um, I mean I had a narrower band if that didn't but I just about messed up. Now my hopes are I don't run into that same problem this way. If I do I can just have build me space that a little bit differently. Okay and the fifth one is going on. So that is perfect. And they're, they're See how that works. Now this part seems to me like it is going to be a penny. So to leave. Um, maybe I should do the pain. I can't see one touch ones in. My goodness, that would have been awful. Well, let's just see how that, how that does, just the amount. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, I'm gonna be really honest. This part sucks. Um, it has taken me longer to get to, to do these three than it has to do every step up to this point. Um, and I can say if I did not have this stapler, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't, I might walk away from this if I didn't have this stapler because it just takes so little pressure. Okay, I have just one more left. And I gotta tell you, I was um, really worried I was gonna have to go back out to the store, which I really didn't want to do. Um, but I'm just gonna do one more row, and then it'll be actually about perfect. So um, what I've done is I've left a big one here, and I'm gonna leave another big one here. So if I want to slide something wider between between these ones, I can do that. So, uh, but let's go ahead and fish this through. I get that about half. So what I'm doing is I just make it sure it's good and flat on all sides, and then just snip. That way I can slide them and they just touch. But um, and now I work it with the stapler, just how I just like I've been doing. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and pause the video because there's no real way I'll let you. See. Now um, what I've been doing to hide the staples, and I've done it on all of them, is I just slide it to where it. Uh, slides in behind. Now when I saw that, that done in another video, I thought, well that's going to drive me nuts because I'll still see them. Um, but actually, once you slide them and you find just the hiding spot, I mean, you really can't tell at all. Um, like a couple times I actually forgot which side's the front and back. Now, I do see the cardboard does definitely show through. So I think when I make the next one, I will take this cardboard um, and I'll actually just spray paint it black. Um, I might do a strip of find a nice strip of tape and run it right along the edge like a trim piece or something I'll fold it over and run it all the way along okay so I um it's finished I just thought I'd show the finished product right here so um I really like it actually um with the bag that I use um it's great it just slides right in there no problem 
Uh, the bag I use has just a couple of big pockets, really, and not. And I don't like having little tiny pockets for everything because I can't guarantee what I what I'm going to use in them one day is how I'm going to keep using it. Whereas this is reconfigurable; I can use it however I need to. Um, I've got this side loaded up. This is stuff that I had with me. Um, I've got a couple other things that I needed to put on this side. Some of them are at the office because I haven't had a way to carry them. But like I can keep my you know my cables for my my iPhone and my headphones. These have always been a major pain of how to keep these organized in my bag. Um, you know things like just a digital voice recorder that I use all the time for work. And with those oversized ones that I made, it's perfect. It slides right in and it holds it just right. Um, I've got a thumb drive and a couple pocket knives, a little stylus marker. I've, I've got a SD card that I, I have at work that I'll keep on here. But um, otherwise, this is perfect. It's simple. It's easy. Um, I will probably make another one. Um, again, because I want to take care of the where the cardboard shows. And maybe even for some other people might want some as well. But otherwise, this is really cool. Super easy project. Not a, you know, this isn't something I've done a lot of, this sort of thing. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. And it's really easy. And all in all, I think it's going to, it will have cost me um, about seven or eight bucks, um, which is a lot cheaper because now again, that doesn't include the cost of the scissors and stuff, but, uh, you know, my girlfriend already had all that and I could borrow it from her. Um, and I just took an old binder to get to the cardboard. So again, just an elastic, I'm, you know, said I'm about, about five to seven bucks, um, a whole lot cheaper than buying one of these online. And then I can also now, you know, make these exactly the size that I need. So great, 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 great project.